Several private media and online outlets in Guinea launched a one-day boycott of news in protests at press and internet restrictions by the authorities. The protest was launched Monday after the ruling military shut down two radio stations owned by the Africa Vision Group, limited access to popular website and social media, and threatened to close any media that undermines national unity. From 5 in the morning until now, when I'm talking with you, there is no radio being broadcast, at least in FM band, and therefore TV is 100% down except RTG, national television, and also TV programs are down. It's just the music. So for us, it's satisfying. The government has denied any crackdown against Africa vision or blocking of the internet. Civilians are now calling upon the government to respect freedom of the press as enshrined in the constitution. I think it's not good. It's not good for us, the population. It's not good for the state because the media journalists are our source of information. And despite the abundance of social networks, and even that is currently blocked, and we managed to listen to the radios and the TVs for better informing ourselves, because an uninformed person or society is a danger to the whole society. Guinea has been run by the military since 2021, when President Alpha Conde was overthrown. The opposition has called for fresh demonstrations in the capital Conakry on Wednesday and Thursday this week.